thank you. <laughs> if that was me in my Migos voice, you know, the in the back like, mama. <laughs> Y'all know I ain't got no sense. So that was my Migos voice. I think that's either like offset that says that or sometimes take off. So <laughs> just, just disregard. Okay, I'm excited. She gave us purple. She gave us a blue dual chrome kit. I mean, what more can I ask for? Hey guys, this is Ashley. Welcome on back to my channel. So yes, I'm excited because Pat McGrath has released her Dark Star kit. Ooh, as I spill the sequence. Oh my goodness. But I'm not mad at her on the sequence front because she actually didn't give us a whole lot. She just gave us a few, which is like, thank you. You know, not too many. So, you know, I'm, I'm here for that. And it is a beautiful purple dual chrome shade that I have on my eyes right here. And I'm sequins are starting to fall onto the ground good lord it's always a mess around here anywho <laughs> this is what the shadow looks like but before i get carried away with all the product details and everything like that let me go ahead and introduce myself so if you're new to this channel welcome and if you're only but goody welcome on back my name is ashley i have a doctor in pharmacy i love makeup so that's how you get dr ash and her makeup and shadow is my jam and i love pat mcgrath pat mcgrath my favorite brand hands down if everything had to go away in my collection pat mcgrath she would stay all of it all of it okay even the stuff i don't really care for she, it will stay so on let's see i think march it was last thursday she, march 3rd i want to say she announced a sneak peek and it was some blue sequins and i actually thought like it might have been a re-release of the uh, diamond of the first water palette but actually, no, it was this eye kit. And this is the uh, Dark Star 006 Volume 3, I guess, because there is a Dark Star kit from before where it's just getting the blue, like the straight metallic blue that's kind of similar to the Blitz blue that's in Mothership 1. And this shade is called VR Sextra Galactic, okay? And I guess everything that is going to be multi-chrome when it comes to Mama Pat is going to be extra something okay because we had uh let's see her first multi-chrome she gave it to us in divine one Ro divine rose two excuse me and that is this is vr sextra terrestrial mm -hmm. she's gorgeous and then in utopian dream you know even though i was kind of mad at utopian dream but i pull with i pull with this multi-chrome in here this is called VR Sextra Galactic right here. And now we have the shade that is on my eyes. If you are wondering what is going on here, that is my tears. I will explain to you later, okay? I'm like, please, just let me make it through the video, I. So I am going to do some swatches for you on my lids, but let me talk about the price real quick. The price for the kit was $50. It actually released that Friday, um, which was March 4th. The shipping was super fast. I received mine yesterday, which was March... Ninth, <laughs> yeah, so really quick shipping. Uh, there wasn't any cold with this, so it was just the straight $50 plus tax. The shipping was free. Looked like she used the fast shipping through uh, UPS that she usually uses, so I appreciate that. Um, I actually feel like the kit was a good deal because you got the shade. This is the pigment right here. This is the shade that's called VR Sextra Galactic. It is a little bit of a drier formula, and that is the beautiful shade right here. You also got a little uh, thing of Mayron Mixing Medium. Now, Mayron Mixing Medium, you can actually purchase this by itself. Mayron is a professional makeup company. You can purchase some of their things from Amazon or directly from their website. And she does feature this mixing medium quite often on her Instagram. You also got an eye gloss, which is more geared toward the professional makeup world. I feel like runway. And this is the Cyber Electric Eye Gloss. Okay. You get four grams of this product. And you also get one of my favorite products by Pat McGrath, which is you get a full size blitz. Um, no, this is not a blitz. This is, you get a full size eyeliner. And this is actually extreme black. And this is the Permagel 
liner. I have not touched this because I have one that I've been using. Y'all know it's tiny, tiny, tiny. But I feel like these these pencils are such a great value for your money. They are $28 individually. So you get this in the kit with the other items for $50. So I feel like the price point is justified. I feel like it's a great price point because you're getting the pigment, you're getting the Mayron, you're getting the eyegloss, and you're getting a full size of this for all for $50. I feel like that's great. And these are just fabulous. It's one of my favorite products by Pat McGrath. I wish she would release a um, green and a purple one. And so that is the product detail. So what we're doing for this demo, I'm going to do eye swatches. So I'm going to swatch on this eye with the product just by itself, which is some primer. I'll explain all of that. Then I'm going to go ahead and swatch with an eye base such as the pencil and then the pigment over it. Then I'm going to put the gloss over it and then we're going to create this look and we'll wrap up with some final thoughts. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started. I got my eyebrows filled in per usual using the Goof Proof Pencil by Benefit Cosmetic, shade 3.75. For I did go ahead and prime my eyes because anytime I'm still doing any type of special shadows, whatever, I'm still gonna prime my eyelids. So I went in with my Juvia's Place Eye Prep Eye Prime Primer, and this is the shade uh, number two, okay? And because I primed my eyelids all the way up and I was like, mm, I'm not sure if it was the best for the demo. I took out Mothership One and I went in, what is this called? This is called Ultimate Taupe. And I just laid this down to kind of set that primer down, not to mention so we can have just something there <laughs> that won't overpower the shadow. So for the first demo, I'm going to just do the shadow just actually just with nothing and then with the other eye I am going to use the gloss and show you how that works and then I think once I do the final demo I will show you how it works with the mixing medium from just from me swatching it on my hands I think that is going to be the one I prefer the best the gloss I just want to show you but I feel like that's more for editorial purposes we'll see how well this works I have a Sonya G Builder Pro here and this is the shade VR Sextra Galactic oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness yay so I usually use this brush when I use uh, VR Sextra Terrestrial and it's okay so we're gonna see I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some and it doesn't look like it's really picking up. Uh, just a little bit. I think my fingers might be the best. This formula, I feel like VR Sextra Terrestrial that's in Divine Rose 2 is a little bit more silky versus this one, but it could be. But then I did go ahead and put some mixing medium in this when I dropped this. This is what it looks like on the finger. Very brilliant. So I'm just gonna dab it down. And so, as you see, you know, it's showing up, but part of it, I think, I think I, I until I rub that layer off, I think I kind of dull mine down just a tiny bit because I put the mixing medium directly into that and maybe I shouldn't have. So no, don't be like me. Okay. And, and I, and I knew better. I knew better. Okay. So I'm just dabbing it on, but it is kind of nice that you can get more subdued and it is showing up nice and you can see the flip. So I'm just going to rub that on with this one. The finger is just proving to be so much better and I feel like I'm kind of breaking through that layer. So let's see, it's pretty. And I also feel like this formula is just a tiny bit drier. But what I do think I do like, I do like these baked formulas a little bit better than probably the one which is Sextra Galactic. No, this is Sextra Galactic. Other than Blitz Sextreme that's in Utopian Dream. Just because, like I feel like it blends out nicer. You don't get such a harsh line. I feel like at the end of the day, it kind of stays a little bit better versus that one has a little bit more creamier formula. So I feel like I really like this version and the version in um, Divine Rose 2 a lot better. And see, I do still kind of have quite a decent amount on my finger. So I'm just kind of blending that up. So that is very pretty, very pretty. So you see the shift. 
Definitely, if you know we will put the pencil down, it would be more intense. Small change of plans. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay Blitz uh, Extreme Black down. This is mine that I had. <laughs> so tiny it did come with one but I'm not gonna open her you know I feel I love these pencils I feel like they're such a great value I've had this pencil probably like two years for real for real for real and I use it every day and even when I film and it's still laying down so what I think I'm gonna do so you can kind of see both shifts and I'm going to lay down the extreme black on the outer then I'm gonna put down blitz blue in the front part so we can see how it layers as a base and I'll blend it out so and even though this is tiny I'm like I'm using it it's still just as creamy I know you guys have heard me say this time and time again but I swear it really is like it's not even pulling I just don't want to break the tip you know All right, now I'm taking the Blitz Blue. I'm gonna do like a little ombre situation. This one is a little bit easier for me to manage, of course, because I have more to hold on to. And if you don't have her pencils, you can definitely use whatever eyeliner you have, or if you have some type of cream shadow, like I've been using these. Well, maybe you don't want to do a cream with this particular one because it's not a necessarily shadow that's not opaque, but you know. If you got any other eyeliners, you could definitely do this. I'm gonna go ahead with my finger and just gonna kind of like blend those two out so we get some even base type of situation. I'll go back and kind of just fill in where we need to. All right, I'm gonna take this MSQ dome brush and I'm just going to kind of like work that product in how my finger can't really work it in. And I think I need to touch up on the black side, but like I said, that pencil. <sighs> I'm like, I'm hanging on. And I got another backup in my drawer. Yeah, I bought it a long time ago in anticipation of this running out. And like I said, it hasn't run out. <laughs> Going back in with that brush. All right, we got that in some good kind of blend out. You can kind of see it's blue on one side. You kind of see it's black, okay? Now going back in with our lovely shade, the VR Sextra Galactic. Yes, I have to remember the names now. You know, it's so much with the name, so much. Ooh. Oh man. You can definitely tell the intensity. I mean, look at that. That is just. All right, so this is what we have. We have the shadow by itself on top of just a regular primer, no mixing medium, nothing there. And then we have the shadow on top of the, the Blitz Crayons or the pencils, the eye pencils, which is extreme black and blitz blue. So definitely getting more blue vibes here and then definitely getting a little bit darker and deeper and getting that purple shift. So pretty. All right, so now that we have these down, I wanna pop the eye gloss on top of this eye. Now, I'm really not a big fan of eye gloss and one thing I did notice is that the gloss did kind of break down the shadow when I swatched it on my arm but you know I feel like losses this is more so for editorial purposes so I'm not mad at it you know it's just a little extra bonus in my kit if I ever wanted to do something like that or my little arsenal um, but like I said I'm, I'm mainly here for the shadow and I got an extra pencil. That'll probably be a couple years before I get to. I don't know. I'm just making jokes. But this is what the gloss looks like. So it's clear, nice little reflex. And I'm just going to pop it on with my finger. And maybe 
I'm trying to see if it's going to disturb. You do have to pat gently because it will definitely disturb. You cannot drag. And I feel like that's where I went wrong in when I swatched it. So this is with the gloss. I mean, it's cool. It's editorial. But I see the shadow breaking down, like right there. I should see it breaking down. So like I said, I feel like this is for cool looks. You can do a winged out look, kind of have the space, uh, kind of like she, how she has it in this card. Let's see if I can get the card out without spilling the sequins. Yeah. So like that, you know, but you have to be careful with that. Like I said, this is more for editorial purposes, makeup artists, you know, and I feel like that's fun because what I, I do, I follow quite a few people, you know, like Doja Cat's makeup artist, that's a lot of, use a lot of Pat McGrath. Definitely Erica LaPearl on Cardi B uses, she uses a lot of things. Like I've even seen her use like glam light, maybe even a pizza palette, with a pizza palette or a burger palette, one of them. But she definitely uses Pat McGrath. So I could see, you know, something like this being done on Cardi for a video, just to get the point. And then of course the makeup artist is like jumping in and touching it up. So I'm cool with it, but it, this I wanted to definitely show you what it looked like. All right, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna wipe this off and we're gonna create a look and I'm gonna use it with the makeup. I'm back, I have my eyes reprimed using that same primer from Juvia's Place. I'm going to pair Mothership One with this palette. I think it would be a beautiful pairing. I also think that some of like, you know, what is it? Extreme Aubergine would be beautiful with this particular uh, shade. Also, I feel that, hmm, oh, Purple Rain from La Vie and Rose would be dope with this shade as well. But I just really want that shade to like shine in this particular demo. And we're gonna go back in with, what is this, Extreme Taupe? <laughs> ultimate Taupe, this is Ultimate Taupe, Ultimate Taupe, okay. I'm just gonna lay that down in the crease, go a little back and forth. And I don't know, lately I've just had a new appreciation for Mothership One. You know, cool tones are not usually my thing, but I have really been enjoying this palette lately. And you know, if you don't have Mothership One, just grab any shadows in this color story. I'm sure you love makeup like me, or if you're just starting out, I'm sure you have something similar. Now, popping in with a smaller brush, I got a Wayne Goss 04. I'm going to take Ult what is this, Death? Yes, I'm just gonna take Death right here and pop it in a little bit, just in the crease. Give us a little bit of Death, as the shade is called. Mm -hmm. Now that we have that shade down, I'm gonna take a reference zero two and I'm gonna pop in with Extreme Black. And we're just gonna pop that on the outer corner. These blacks are really nice because they are very black, but they don't start too intimidating, you know? It's like you can definitely build it up to how you want it to be. Let me tell y'all, I washed all my brushes yesterday and I feel so accomplished and they're so clean and I just, I love it. It's nothing like having clean brushes. Like, oh my gosh. I just wish I wouldn't take so much time in between cleaning my brushes to do it, you know? All right, so I, the setup is good. I'm liking it. We're gonna go in with the Mayron. Now here is the thing family, okay? You go in, but you only need a lot because if you go in too much, it will really make the shadow too liquidy. It will just be like this. I'm, I'm just warning you. I really wish I had a spray bottle for this because I really don't want to... Do I even want to dip my brush in? How do I want to approach this? Okay. Because the formula is drier and some of the brushes don't pick it up as well either. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Cause I'm telling you, you put too much on, it, it's, yeah. All right, so, kind of bootleg, but, oh, I'm 
conflicted. Okay, I want to take my finger, like how we did in the other demos. Because I don't want to put it into the pan. Ooh, look how vibrant, okay? And I'm just going to, like, wet my finger with it, you know? Just a little drop to be very messy. I need a spray bottle. And I think they sell this as a spray. But look, but look, it's freaking amazing. Just gorgeous. Look how foiled it's looking. But I'm really not getting what I need by just trying to put it on my finger. So I'm like, <laughs> let's see, let's see. I don't wanna... Okay, I'm just gonna, I have a Refer 21 brush. It'll be fine, it really will be fine. I'm gonna get a spray bottle for this. So I'm, I'm, I got a Refer P21. I'm just going, it's clean. I'm just going to dip my brush in there like so. As I just dipped it in, I'm going to wipe it off. Then I'm going to, I have a little paper towel right here. I'm going to pat it off a little bit. Now I'm going to pick up the shadow because I don't want it to be like a liquidy mess. And I'm just going to rub it in there. Voila, do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my goodness, voila. And I'm just gonna pat it down. That is looking <laughs> good. That is looking what? So like, like I said, this is like one of my favorite ways to wear it. And I mean, if you run out of this mixing medium, I could see if you just spray your brush with a little setting spray, it would be cool too. Um, also, maybe just laying down a glitter glue. And honestly, as of lately, I've been really just wearing a lot of glitter glue underneath my multi-chrome shadows. All right, so got both eyes going. Really, really cute. Got a slightly damp brush left over. So let's pop back into the first mothership. And I'm going to go in with, hmm, let's take, Let's take a little bit of VR Violet. We're gonna pop that in the inner corner, okay? Have our little completed look. And then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of depth. And just kinda tie everything together. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll be the right back. All right, I am back and here is the final look. I think everything, it came out so gorgeous. So let me tell you real quick. So my eye is doing this thing where it starts watering right here in the corner and up on the, um, what is this, my upper eyelid. And the tears like go this way instead of like this way. So if the shadow, you see how it's just like starting to dissipate right there that's me that's not the shadow yeah I hate it so much and every once in a while it happens and it when it happens it usually it starts burning my eyelid and it turns into like a hot cruddy mess so that's not the shadow that is me I think everything looks great I'm just gonna kind of keep touching it up I got another video to film I'm gonna need my eyeball to get it together okay it's just like that corner it does that sometimes and ugh. And it can just run up and then it mix it with the shadow, mix it with the primer, hot, hot mess. So for my face details, I went in with my Marc Jacobs Shameless Youthful 24 Hour Foundation Shade Y480. I'm almost finished panning it, almost finished panning it, guys. Then I took my, what is this? Pat McGrath Concealer in Medium 20. I went in with my Gucci bronzer that I always use. Oh, for my blush, I went to do something kind of purpley and Pat McGrath, she doesn't have anything purple. So I pulled out my Besame uh, blush palette. This is from It's Bell. I do have a code with It's Bell. It's Dr. Ash, if you're interested. I'm a part of their affiliate, so I do make a commission. I appreciate it. It will put back into this channel. And I went in with this. This palette is so so vibrant. I don't even know who I am. I have bought like so many blushes lately. I bought three Kaleidos brush blushes. Uh, I have my eyes on some of those blushes by Clarity that are coming out. I'm like, who am I? 
And then for the bottom, I put on my Blitz Blue pencil in the waterline. Went in with the love interest, the vinyl. So that is the face, okay? And I think the eyes just look so beautiful. Just excuse where it doesn't want to stick because of my watery eyes. But I think it is such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Now, I mean, have we seen stuff like this? Especially if you're into makeup, if you're into indie brands, if you're been like on the Cleona and the Davina and the Terra Moons train and even recently like Danessa Myricks. You know, you've seen shades like this, but I think it's great that Pat McGrath has given us in this in her arsenal. She's given like the makeup artist something with the little, you know, the eye gloss, but I love it. I feel like this is really pretty. The packaging to me, um, it's not bad. We'll see how it lasts over time. It feels pretty sturdy. Sometimes when Pat McGrath, I mean, like her packaging can be like really great or sometimes it's like, who authorized that? But so far it seems good. So I like that she did not put her name across it because I feel like that tends to fade like how it did with the idols. But this is cool right here. The formula feels a little drier, but that's fine. I feel like the mixing medium, the Mayron, really brings it to life. Like I said, you have to be careful about how much you, you see. You see? You see the tear? You see it just going up. You see how the space is just getting. Just going to keep bringing it down. <laughs> like, my gosh. So I feel like the formula is a little bit drier, but it's not something that's a bad dry, but definitely that mixing medium really helps bring it to life. I feel like if you put this underneath a base, it brings it to life. And I feel like it is pretty. If you want a little bit more subdued, you know, multi-chrome and not so in your face, you get that way just putting it on by itself. I feel like if you run out of the mixing medium, it will be okay. You don't have to worry. Oh my gosh, y'all. Like, for real, come on, I pull it together. So, <laughs> I think it's really, really pretty. I'm excited about the kit. I, I, you know, I love blue eyeshadows. I love green eyeshadows. I love Pat McGrath, but honestly, I feel like she's been doing a lot of the same color stories lately, and that's my opinion. I know it's a lot of some of my friends' opinions, but I'm ready for different, and I feel like she gave us something different, and I hope, like, this is, like, the preclude to what Mothership 10 will be, just giving us some different finishes, because I collect a lot of her palettes, and, you know, I want something different. I mean, honestly, if like everything was to go away, I would hate to say that because I love so many of my stuff so much. But if everything was to go away and I was just stuck with one brand, it would be Pat McGrath. So I need a variety, mama. I need a variety, okay? Now, um, I did pull out a couple of dupes so you can see or something that's similar. So one of the shades that came to mind, which is in the Danessa Myrick Lightwork 3 palette would be the Galaxy shade right here. So I feel like it is somewhat similar. Let's get a little swatch going. This is the VR Sextra Galactic. So that's VR Sextra Galactic right there. And then Galaxy from Danessa Myrick. I heard supposedly like this is supposed to be coming back, but oh, don't know. So the, the Galaxy palette, it does feel definitely, you know, a lot smoother. As you can see, it doesn't, the Galaxy shade, it does have like a lot more mica in it. And for me, that could be like a good and a bad thing sometimes because it makes these shades very slip and you do kind of have to sometimes lay something down to get that longevity versus this one like this. This is why sometimes I say I prefer this formula because it lasts longer. It blends out well. It doesn't have such a dark base. So you can kind of pair with other shadows that are not so dark so you won't get that cast. So that's Galaxy from Danessa Myrick. Then Cleona, of course, I have a couple shades. These are my Cleona shadows. I don't have them all. They're pricey. But I don't think you need them all because there's you pick out the ones that you like the most because, I mean, honestly, it's a lot. So this first shade right here that kind of comes to mind is the shade Crown Jewel by Cleona. And then this, yeah, is that Crown Jewel? Yes. No. Crown Glass, Crown Glass, and then the one right here, I'll show you in a second, oh gosh, Rosette, okay, so this is Crown Glass, definitely giving some of the same vibes, this is Crown Glass, these two, the one by Danessa and Cleona look very much alike, and then we have Rosette, 
I hate that I swatched it on my pinky. And you can see how you don't really need both like of everything because look at these two shades by Cleona. So these are the swatches of things that I found that are pretty close that you might have in your collection. I didn't swatch this one because it's, it's more green even though like kind of down here looks more blue. And I think these are all the shades I have like this. I don't have anything by Terra Moons like this because it was just like I have these. So let's see. We have, that is Pat McGrath, which is looking not impressive, very weak at the moment. I'll do it up. I think it's a lot of it because I've been putting a mixing medium in there. This one is the shade Galaxy by Danessa Myricks. This one is the shade Crown Glass by Cleona. So that one has a lot of purple in it. And then this one is Rosette. I hate swatching stuff with my pinky, but there you go. So of course Pat McGrath is now looking very impressive at the moment. Let me see. And look, 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 look at my look. Just, just look. A mess. Going in with another swatch. Uh VR Sextra Galactic. There we go. I feel like it's definitely a formula you have to build up. It's I mean, it's like you're not gonna get all the impact at once, like you get with Cleona and even the SMRE. Cleona is just giving all the impact at once. Um, but on the eyes I feel like you could definitely tell it's a stunner <sighs> Lord I got another video to film I'm not changing my makeup come on I get it together <laughs> so that's that and then of course if you go ahead and you put the mixing medium on it you're going to get even more vibrancy so if you have these in your collection I, I mean I feel like hmm, what would be the closest I don't know these are definitely leaning more purple to me this is giving me blue and purple. These two, I feel like, are the closest. Oh, look, <laughs> my reel is coming up from Instagram that I just filmed. But I feel like these two are definitely the closest. So, just, you know, some dupes, some comparisons. Um, I try not, I mean, try not to especially dupe, dupe everything in my collection because I want some variety, even though it does, might not look like a whole variety, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> Those are just the shades that I own, if you were curious, that were just close to it. So overall, I'm thrilled about this. I'm going to be using it. I have been playing a lot in my single shadows, a lot. So I definitely see myself using it. I don't see myself using the eye gloss, but that's okay. I feel like the package is a good deal. Like if you're getting, you haven't used Mayron before, you're getting introduced to that uh, concept of that mixing medium that's used in a lot of professional world, uh, makeup world. Um, you got the eye gloss definitely that's geared to makeup artists but I feel like this can definitely be used for everyday use I feel like it's really really gorgeous and I'm really happy to have it in my collection to be honest so let me know down below did you pick it up are you thinking about it are you like eh nah girl and I know some people were like nah and it's fine because if you're going to use it you use it if you don't you know it's going to be a waste of money so let me know down below in the comments give this video a big old thumbs up hit the notification bell so you know when I come out with another video which will be very very soon and Last but not least, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. But that's really not least because you know after I say all of that, we got it in the video with the chair dance, okay? <laughs> chair dance. Hey, 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 chair dance. Mm, mm, chair dance. Mm, 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 chair dance. Mm, mm. Mama gave us purple and blue. Mm, multi mm, 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 mm. Look at my eyelid, it's going away. Come on, tears, stop it. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.